Hello students, welcome to class 8 maths. This is exercise 1.1. We have to find this value of this expression by using property. Now, already we have learned those properties and why we are using the properties. Properties are used to make the solution easier, to make the process easier. Now, here in this expression, we have to find that how many terms are here. These are, this is two term, this is two, another term, this is another term. Term means how many parts are being separated by the uh, addition or, or subtraction. Now, this part is added to this part and this part again this part is added to negative 3 by 5 into 1 by 6. Now, in these three parts, are you getting any common factor? No, all these three parts are not having any common factor or any factor is not common to all these three parts but 3 by 5 is common to the first term and the last term. So, uh, let us bring together all these two terms negative 2 by 3 into 3 by 5 minus 3 by 5 into 1 by 6 and this 5 by 2 term now we can write here. Now next step what we will do? In these two terms, 3 by 5 is common. So, let us take 3 by 5 as common. And when we are taking out 3 by 5 common, then what is left here? Negative 2 by 3. And here, this negative also, it will left because already we have taken, only we have taken positive 3 by 5 as common. So, negative 1 by 6 or minus 1 by 6 plus 5 by 2 left here. Now, we can simplify this expression 3 by 5 into now LCM is 6 and when we are taking the LCM 6 means 6 divided by 3 is 2 and 2 is multiplied by 2 that is equal to negative 4 and here 6 divided by 6 1 1 into 1 is 1 and negative 1 plus 5 by 2 that is equal to now you can simplify more 3 by 5 into negative 5 by 6 plus 5 by 2 and that is equal to now here one is multiplication another is addition so uh, during the simplification first we have to um, simplify the product one now we can reduce 3 and 6 when we are reducing 3 and 6 you are getting 3 2s are 6 and 5 and negative 5 also we can reduce 5 1s are 5 and 5 negative 1 it will be because it is negative 5. Now what we are getting in the numerator negative 1 divided by 2 plus 5 by 2. Now you know how to add this to negative 1 by 2 and 5 by 2. 2 is the denominator both so LCM is 2 and here negative 1 plus 5 and that is equal to negative 1 plus 5 is equal to 4 divided by 2 that is equal to 2. So, by using the property, which property we have used here? We have used the property of associativity and here when we are taking common that is used uh, distributive property. So, by using these two property we have solved and we get the solution 2. Now, bit 2. In this bit 2, here also the same process we have to use, the same steps we have to use. Here how many terms are there? Here this, this is one term, this is another term and this is another term. Now, this part, this part and this part. There are three terms. Now check what is the common factor here. In the first term and the last term 2 by 5 is common. Or is there any common factors anywhere? No. So, after using the associative property, now we can bring together this 2 by 5 into, now you can write negative 3 by 7 plus 1 by 14 into 2 by 5 and this term you can write at last minus 1 by 6 into 3 by 2. Why we have bring together these two uh, terms? Because these two terms are having common factors. Now, it is easy to take it common. 2 by 5 is the common factor in these two terms. So, what is left here? Negative 3 by 7 and from here 1 by 14 minus 
1 by 6 and 3 by 2 you can simplify 6 and 3 now 3 2s are 6 so 1 by 4 you can write here you can write here 1 by 4 now after that you can simplify this part the bracket part 2 by 5 into when we have to add these two numbers 7 and 14 and 14 is the 14 is the LCM here 7 2s are 14 that means you have to multiply here 2 so negative 6 and here plus 1 minus 1 by 4 now here we have used associative property here we have used distributive property because in distributive property we have taken common that is equal to now you can simplify more 2 by 5 into negative 6 plus 1 is equal to negative 5 divided by 14 minus 1 by 4 that is equal to now you can reduce 5 ones are 5 and 5 here 5 ones are 5 but here it is negative so negative 1 now 2 ones are 2 2 sevens are 14 so in numerator what is left negative 1 by 7 minus 1 by 4 now you can add these two numbers and 7 and 4 the LCM is 28 when LCM is 28 means 7 4 are 28 so here you have to multiply 4 and you are getting negative 4 and here minus 7, 4 7 are 28 so here you have to multiply 7 now negative 4 and negative 7 that is equal to negative 11 divided by 28 now this is your answer by using the properties of associative and distributive property we have found, we have found the answer negative 11 by 28.